Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So I'm gonna go straight in with my MAC eye primer base and I'm just gonna pop this all over my lids. Now today I was just gonna do one of my 60 second kind of makeup looks that I tend to do and then you were like, no, we want a full video. So here we are. I have not done a video like this in so long where I do a voiceover and I thought, well, they're kind of just a bit formal, so I thought I'd just kind of chat whilst I do it. But I'm going in with my MAC palettes. So these are the palettes that were like really popular about a year and a half ago. And they're the warm neutrals, and I believe it's the cool neutrals. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. So I'm just picking between these to create the kind of pinky purpley look that I'm kind of going for. I thought I'd give a cut crease a go because I barely ever do these. But they always look so done and so nice, like if you manage to nail them so I thought I would give it a go so I'm just going in with the matte shades now these are quite kind of deep purpley pinky and then I'm just gradually getting darker and building up my crease it's just super simple so yeah this look was a lot of fun to do I just kind of sat down I had to get ready and I was like do you know what I'm gonna do something fun and and then I'm just gonna go with my concealer to tidy it all up now I did this off camera because this is something that I'm really bad at and I really had to concentrate to do it so then I'm just packing on my shimmery color now I didn't really know which color to go for I, I do think this one was slightly too dark I mean I managed to make it work in the end but I, I really didn't know what look I was going for I knew I didn't want to do something too kind of purpley like I generally do like if I do an eye it'll be purple or it'll be brown as in like a very browny purple <laughs> so I kind of wanted to go for something quite pinky and I know this almost looks purple but wait trust me so yeah I'm just going back in kind of blending in the outer part of the eye adding a kind of deeper color in just to intensify that kind of lid even more and like I said, I did kind of think that the inner corner was not kind of, it didn't pop enough, basically. That's what I was concerned about. So I decided to add a bit more dimension. I would go in with my highlighter. Now, I love this MAC highlighter. It's pink and it's got like gold reflex, which really doesn't match the eye look, like thinking about it now. But it looks so pretty. And of course, I just sprayed a bit of Fix Plus on there. Fix Plus is just still a an absolute staple in my makeup routine. I love it, I use it pretty much every single time I do my makeup. I, I love other setting sprays of course, like the Urban Decay one is insane, but I just always go back to Fix Plus. And this is the eye look. I mean, I feel like it looks very average without lashes on. I was gonna do a full on kind of wing and stuff and then I was like, no, I'll ruin it. Oh my gosh, I've got strobe cream in my hair, I didn't even realize. Oh my gosh. So I'm just popping on the MAC strobe cream and managed to get it in my hair somehow. And then I'm going in with my Studio Fix Fluid in NC30. I still don't know what shade I'm supposed to be wearing in this, but I just go with it anyway because I love the foundation. It's so nostalgic for me, like the smell. I remember the first time I ever bought this, it was in NW15, which is so pink and so light, like way too light for me. And it was the day I had a casting for Abercrombie, like to work there in London. Just, I randomly got scouted as they do in the streets and Libby put this on me outside the audition, well the audition, the casting, and was like, go for it, you got this, and then just that smell, and then go Going in with my um, concealer. This is the Pro Long Wear. This is insane. I used to wear this every single day. I go for my uh, Tarte Shape Tape more than this now just because this is not drying as such. I know a lot of people do find it drying, but I just feel like this is so full coverage. Like it's photography makeup. That's This is what I wear if I was, you know, doing a shoot and I wanted it to look absolutely flawless. And I still love this to bits and it just goes on so nicely. Like what I'm applying on my face now is simply one pump and it's spread all this way over my face. Like every point that I want to highlight and like there's leftover as well. So nailing like the half pump for your prolonged wear is a skill, <laughs> very much so. And I'm just blending this out with my beauty blender, of course. I love this so, so much. And then to add some bronze to my face, I'm using my Pro Conceal palette. I believe this is in the darkest one you can get. And I'm just applying one of the concealers around the perimeter of my face just to kind of bronze everything up, add a bit more shape in. And I really like how these blend out. Like they're so easy to use this way. I mean, obviously you, you can use like concealer anyway, but this one doesn't set down straight away. It's really creamy, which is really nice. Like I tend to use this to carve out my brows. That's, this is like my go-to one to carve out my brows. And yeah, it's just really, really handy. And I'm just setting under my eyes with my powder and up the bridge of my nose, just pretty much everywhere I highlighted really. And then I'm just going to go in with my powder. This is my absolute favorite powder. As, I mean, I don't know if you could see from the shop, but this is nearly gone. And I've had this for about a year and a half and used it every single day. 
I will link it down below. Well, everything will be linked down below if you want to check it out. But it's the, uh, I believe it's the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. What? Uh, could be wrong. Probably wrong. Let me get it out of the drawer now and have a look. Yeah, it's just the Medium Mineralized Skin Finish. And then I'm going in with this mascara. The packaging of this mascara just gets me every time. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. The only reason I bought this was purely for the packaging. No mascaras work any differently on my lashes, really. Like, it's very rare if I find one that actually works really well. So... Yeah, and <laughs> we're just going back in with that highlighter that I used previously. You need this, okay? This is so, so good. And um, of course I applied my lashes. These are just Lily lashes and I'm going over with Fix Plus. Like I said, I just love this. And now we're going in with a fun lip combo. So I am using Whirl, which is my absolute favorite lip liner ever. I actually lost this for about six months. And like, you know when you notice that you don't have a lip product or like a makeup product. And I ended up asking for it for my birthday. No, for Christmas from two different people. So now I have two and it's amazing. I have one in my bag and one in my makeup collection. It's fab. And then I'm just going in with my Fleur de Force lipstick. This is beautiful. Probably a bit peachier than I would have gone for with this eye look, but I already put it on. So I wasn't going to take it off. <laughs> and then I'm going in with this lip gloss. This is a the Dua Lipa one, I believe. It's really, really pretty. It looks super nice. Uh, they don't actually sell it anymore. So I'm just going to link the normal one down below because they're very, very similar. And then just to finish everything off, I'm just going in with some mascara under my eyes. And this is the final look. I love it. Matte makeup never disappoints. It just works. And I absolutely love that. Oh, 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 oh,